how to transform your suffering into inner peace through the gift of lamenting. The following is a little bit of background and then a, a guided meditation so that you can learn and experience the gift of lamenting. By way of background, we all experience pain, hardship, troubles in life. Sometimes they're little things. We stub our toe, we get a cold or the flu, or life just doesn't go our way. Or it could be big things. Someone betrays us. We lose a loved one. We experience loneliness or depression. Whatever it is we're experiencing, when suffering comes, the temptation sometimes is to push it away, to just think, oh, well, whatever. I'll just push it aside and not deal with it. And the trouble with that approach is that eventually it comes out sideways, like a teapot that's uh, filled with water and the heat's on. Eventually that water's got to bubble over. The suffering has to come out somehow. And many times it comes out as anger, frustration. Sometimes it comes out as rage or a deep depression. And unfortunately, in some of our faith traditions, we've been taught to rejoice in the Lord always, which is a good thing. Joy is a good thing. But it doesn't always work when we're suffering, when life is difficult, when we're experiencing hardship. If you look at the Bible, you look at David and the Psalms, Jesus' life in the New Testament. If you look at, from all faith traditions, wise men and women, they experienced the three-part process of lamenting. That was the pathway that allowed them to see life, life suffering as a teacher. And lamenting has three parts to it. The first is we recognize what it is we're suffering. We give it a name. We recognize that this is not the way we want life to be. And we identify what it is that's causing us pain, suffering, anger, whatever it is. What is the situation, the person, or perhaps even ourselves, that's frustrating us? After we give our suffering a name, we then call out to the divine for help, for divine guidance and wisdom. And then the third point, after we've named what it is we're suffering from, after we've called out to the creator for divine guidance, wisdom, insight, then we listen. We listen with our hearts seeking what it is that this suffering is inviting us to experience. It could be a virtue we're being invited to integrate in our lives. Perhaps it's patience or a situation that we can't control that just seems to have no end to it. So this suffering is transformed into inner peace of patience. It could be forgiveness. The suffering is inviting us to either forgive someone or forgive ourselves. It could be acceptance, to accepting life on life's terms and realize sometimes we're powerless. It could also be a sense of reassurance from God that you're not alone. God is with you, protecting you, keeping you safe. If you look at the model of David in the Psalms, you see, he often used this three-part process of lamenting. He called out to God when, when his enemies were, were chasing him, and he was, said, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to die. So he, he named it as fear. He was frustrated. He was scared. And he called that out by recognizing it, naming it. Then, after he named what it is, that was causing him suffering and fear, he called out to God for help. Help me, Lord. Be my protector. Show me the way. 
give me guidance. And then finally, you'll see in the Psalms eventually, perhaps immediately or sometimes slowly over time, David learned what it was he was being invited to discover the inner peace that the situation was inviting him to understand or a path to follow or virtue to integrate into his life. So let's, for a moment, move into a guided meditation, taking this three-part process of lamenting and see by naming it, by calling out to the Creator for divine help and guidance, and then for listening for where God is leading you, guiding you, inviting you to grow, how the suffering through lamenting transforms into inner peace. So let's take a moment. I invite you to close your eyes, get into a comfortable position, maybe take a couple of deep breaths and just be aware of the spirit of love, the Holy Spirit here with you now. Then bring to mind something that's causing you suffering right now. What is it that's painful for you, a person, place, or thing? Give it a name. What's bothering you? in your life at this time. As you identify what it is that's causing you suffering, next, in your own way, call out to God for help. Whatever words, whatever emotions you need to Speak within your heart or out loud if you'd like to. Ask the Creator for divine guidance and wisdom. Cry out to the God of the universe to show you how the situation is your life's teacher. And as you sit, having named your suffering, having called out to God for divine assistance and guidance, listen. Listen with your heart. What is it that you hear in the silence of your heart? What does the God of love offer you as a pathway to inner peace. What are you being invited to integrate into your life? A virtue? A course of action? Or perhaps just a reassurance that you are loved and God is with you. Know that the situation, the suffering, might not immediately resolve itself. Sometimes in our lives, the answers come very quickly. Other times, it takes more time, more patience to hear how we're being invited to grow, a course of action we're being invited to take. But know that you can use this three-part process of lamenting as a way to open your heart to the Creator. Because God, who is love, wants you and me, all of us, to experience inner peace and joy. And as Christ told us, in this world you will have trouble, but fear not. For through the process of lamenting, through following the pattern that Jesus followed and David and 
other wise men and women with God's assistance, our suffering, our pain is transformed into an inner peace. May God be with you in your lamenting. May you receive lamenting as a gift, a pathway through the difficult times in our lives. And may you know, God is with you always. Namaste.